Spider-Man 3 is without a doubt my all-time most anticipated Spider-Man film and maybe even film. I was in 4th grade when it released and I remember the first time watching the teaser trailer on Sony's Spider-Man website and I don't have enough fingers to count how many times I watched the trailer over and over leading into the film. Along with the film, something you don't see now, the video game released alongside the film and I went through two different versions of the game before finally playing what I think is the best version of the game on the Xbox 360. And although that game isn't as well received compared to Spider-Man 2 and Ultimate Spider-Man which released prior, I think the PS3 360 version is underrated, but I would agree that the PS2 Wii version is a downgrade compared to what was released before. There are a lot of aspects of that version that I do enjoy, such as the Morbius levels and being able to switch between the black suit on and off, but with today's video I wanted to talk about something that could have been in either version of the game, which is Iron Man almost appearing. Before the days of people being sick of seeing Iron Man in Spider-Man media, Twitter user Alasor Hell, I think I said that correctly, posted a tweet claiming that someone found this piece of Iron Man concept art in an early debug version of the game's files and of course that all the references to a greater Marvel world were scrapped due to legal complications with Marvel and Sony. From the reactions I've seen, this Iron Man suit has been received poorly and I agree, to me it looks like the helmet is face paint and there's some unnecessary S added to the costume which I think could spell out Stark, although I can just assume that from the angle. And although this Iron Man suit may not be the best, I do think it's interesting to see what was almost in the Raimi trilogy even if it's just from the video games, considering how old this franchise is and due to the fact that these properties were released in the age of Marvel before the MCU. I do think the video games have had a lot of good designs though, I mainly like Scorpion from Spider-Man 3 and I also really like Mysterio from Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 3 came out a year before Iron Man and at the time there were still plans for Spider-Man 4, so it's always interesting seeing stuff like this considering the last few years character rights have meant so much in today's world. Now this was scrapped from the video game due to it not being a Sony property since this was a movie tie-in game, but I find it odd that this was scrapped considering the Spider-Man 2 video game referenced Latveria, which belongs to Doctor Doom and the Fox franchise. But maybe with this being a physical character, potentially it was a bit trickier than just a reference. Now what gets confusing about this piece of concept art is that this may not have actually been for Spider-Man 3 according to one game developer, who claims this concept art could have been found in an early debug build for Web of Shadows that released a year after Spider-Man 3 that shared assets and was built on the same engine. And I can agree with that considering Web of Shadows referenced a bigger Marvel world, but this claim is only that it was likely this was found in Web of Shadows. So while it looks like this piece of Iron Man concept art could either be for Spider-Man 3, there's also the possibility it could be for Web of Shadows based on the engines being similar, but considering the original tweet claims this was found in a Spider-Man 3 debug, I choose to believe that. It is interesting to know that something like this could have made its way into the Raimiverse even if it just is a video game, and I find it odd that years later in the Iron Man 3 mobile game, Oscorp Industries from the Amazing Spider-Man universe would be acceptable, but not this. Also a year later after Spider-Man 3 released, the Incredible Hulk video game featured the Baxter Building and the Daily Bugle, which at the time Marvel didn't own the rights to, so it makes you think why Sony would have to cut Iron Man from the game, but Marvel got to use other properties in their movie tie-in games. So let me know what you all think, how do you feel about this Iron Man armor, and if you've played any version of Spider-Man 3, would you have liked to see an Iron Man in it? Let me know in the comments below, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, follow my social medias, hit that like button, and I will see you guys again in my next video.